right. I believe we are streaming. Hello, everybody. Let me get mine. Let me get mine set here. Let's see. Hey, JC. How you do? All right. Looks like I'm coming in. Get my camera straight. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Hello, everybody. I know I'm starting just a little bit late. Hey, Alex. Lock Butcher, there's Ken Sirs. There's Manny. Hey, Kevy. <laughs> Kevy, going out for dinner. Well, enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. Hey, Tom. Master. Metal Mars. Vegas. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Vegas. Hey, Jasper. From uh, Tennessee, there's Abe, there's Adam Nine. Morning. Got everybody here. Boy, everybody's jumping in today. Let's see here. I'm gonna put on some water-based O'Dowd pomade. There's Titty. Everybody jumping in. Good day for a shave. Yes, it is. Good day. Hey, Sam. Everybody's joining in. I didn't know what in the world to use today. So I just, uh, I've been eyeballing my LPL all week. I've been using the Item 9. And uh, so I thought I'd change things up this weekend. Which item nine soap companies here? You can check them out on Etsy. They're good stuff. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward for you to hang out here too, JC. How you doing, Ken? I stayed up and watched a ball game on your side of the coast yesterday. Last night, I couldn't finish it, so I don't know who won. But the Braves, my Braves are playing Atlanta. I mean, not Atlanta. Oakland A's last night. They're in Oakland. My brother's an Oakland A's fan. So I told him, don't tell me who won. So I can rewatch it today. Don't you love DVR? It's great for Ken to be here. He's a he's a true wet shaver. He's the elite. Hey there, Steve. Steve's another elite. My hair hasn't been wanting to do good here lately. I don't know why. It just happened. That's good enough. Good enough, ain't it? Everybody's saying, hey. Let's see here. Well, today, we'll be using LPL. Has everybody tried that? Has anybody not tried LPL? It's a uh, shaving company out of France, Le Pierre Lucien. And uh, he has a whole line of stuff and it's great. Love the performance. In fact, I just dug some out for a sample for somebody. Yeah, it is. Ken, great crowd today. Boy, oh boy. All right, so I wanted something, use something I hadn't used in a while. Uh, and that is this handle. The Konos. This is the above the tie. And I'm going to be using the above the tie head. 
this is the Konos. And I think this is the uh, M1. Morning, Corey. And be throwing on an Astra blade in it. The Astra SP, Superior Platinum. Let's see if I can open them up. Oh, it is Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, everybody. 150 years? Is that what it was? All right. Great thing about these machine stainless steel is the... Uh, is when they fit together, the blade cannot move. This is the heavier Kronos handle. There's the gap. This is a pretty mild, the M1's pretty mild. I don't know if y'all saw, have y'all seen the above the tie? Let me show you the inside. It's got uh, two little dots. That's all it is. You can see those little dots. And then it's got the holes. So there's a hair. It's got the holes to match. So when they match up, there's no give. And it holds the uh, holds the razor perfectly. I believe in the small section where they meet together. Yeah, Tom, Astro, Astro Blades are great. I suggest any new shaver to uh, try them. They are magnificent. And I'll show you the size. All right, so this is a short comb. Thank you. Yeah, you should. Hey, Pete, good morning. Oh, <laughs> who would have known, Ken? You might, you might as well use it today, too. This is a regular size Gillette standard handle, and this is the same size as the Atlas above the tie. This is the Kronos, so you can see the size difference. They also have one even longer, and it's the Colossus, I think. Uh, I, don't, I don't have that one. Uh, this is a great handle. has great knurling. The knurling is real grippy, but it's not rough on your hands. But that's the above the tie M1 Kronos. And I'm going to be using LPL, like I said. Yeah, Golden Steel. Tryblade.com. You can get all kinds of blades from there. And Jasper popped in here. Uh, Jasper the Cernico. I'm going to be using the Zeus. Look at that. Just like the Kronos is a big handle, this is a big brush. That's 1305. This is the Zeus. Handmade by Jasper the Cernico. He's on here from Tennessee. This is made out of rosewood, I believe. And uh, the LPL is kind of a, a sweet scent to me. Make sure I'm still still going. Yes, Matt Mobley. Uh, since it's kind of a sweet scent, I decided to get my Chatillon Luke's out. Yazoo, Rose, and Patchouli. Yes. Yes, Maggard's also has a bunch of uh, sampler packs that are great. Now, uh, Ken, do y'all have that rule where they can't go like four feet in the air, the fireworks? Which we don't have that rule. We can shoot them as high as we want to. Olive wood. Olive wood. Jasper said olive wood, and it's a beauty. I love this thing. It's a great handle. So if you're interested, I believe he's still making handles. Uh, you can get a hold of him. If you wanna put your, uh, your email up there, Jasper, you might get some, get some hits. All 
right. Well, I ain't got anything new except this. This is my Father's Day gift. I gotta drink some down. Look at there. It's got my mustache guard in it. Harry's Mustache Cup. I think it's made somewhere up around Pittsburgh, somewhere around in there. Just ground fountains. That's right, Ken. And it does work. Unless you get your mustache on the inside of the guard. Yeah. But I have been using a uh, Item 9 Soap Works, if you've checked out my other ones. And uh, I'm working with him to make a vegan soap too. So I'm looking forward to that. Ah, thank you, JC. Yeah, I love this cup. The wife got me this for Father's Day. Much needed. So I'm drinking everything out of it. Having me a cup of Earl Grey this morning. Yeah, the soap catcher. <laughs> That's exactly. I didn't know what to use this morning. I got all kinds of soaps out here. But I just grabbed this. Mmm, smells great. Yeah, Jasper uh, still making brushes. His email is mmobley011889 at gmail.com. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> I know I thought about carrying just a straw with me everywhere I go. That's why I only order milkshakes everywhere I go. Yes, she did. This is the 12 ounce Harry's Mustache Cups. You can check them out there. There also is a cool mustache place in England that makes them. Yeah, that's what I got, Abe. Earl Grey with just a splash of milk. I don't like too much cream in my Earl Grey because I like the taste of the Earl Grey. All right, let's load this bad boy up. Hope everybody's doing good. Yeah, Ken, if you could, check, check Matt out. He does great work. This is actually modeled after the Simpson M7. It's got a 22 millimeter, 24 millimeter knot in it. Hey, Schneeds. There's your shout out. <laughs> Hey, gray dog. Mm. Mm. Yeah, did you ever get it out of the uh, dishwasher, JC? 24 millimeter, three band. That's what this is. I knew it was. Love this brush. Mmm. Has anybody else tried LPL? Y'all like it? Thank you, thank you. is made in France. I don't know if this is an artisan. I call it an artisan soap, but me too, JC. Me too. I drink much coffee and much tea. I've been drinking water out of it. Put a little ice in it. It's 12 ounces. He also makes a dinner cup, which is like a 10 ounce for y'all sophisticated shavers out there, or mustachiers, and uh, also has a, a beer mug. It's a 16 or 18 ounce. Ah, gang, all right, I got some ni item nine. Look forward to seeing it.
I used to have to bloom this uh, LVL. Took me forever to learn how to load this stuff, but all of a sudden it just broke open and now it loads just as easy as anything else. As y'all know, I don't bloom much anything. And this brush, this three band silver tip is my best badger brush by far as far as uh, loading and uh, holding and flow. Never drink coffee. Yeah, my third cup. Yeah, I done drank uh, three cups and now I'm on tea. Try a cold brew latte from Starbucks the other day. They had a buy one get one free. My wife loves a drink from there, but they had a double shot latte that was iced. Man, stuff was oof, strong. I didn't drink it all. I like espresso, but I like them hot. Oh, is it? Yes, uh, Jasper had the same same problem with the uh, LPL. Just uh, load it up like crazy, and it blooms. That's it right there. And this is the original. Been using straights all week. Hmm. LPL's got all kinds of special scents that come out. Just like a Martin de Kendry, uh, limited edition runs. For some reason, this above the tie, the only blade I've had uh, been able to work with it is the Atlas blade. Uh, not sure if y'all had other ones, um, uh, blades work on your above the ties, if you own one. Have you, Ken? Hey, Carrie, how you doing? There's Phoenix and Bo. Uh, y'all are, y'all are up for a whole week of Phoenix and Bo in two weeks. Two weeks. The week after the 8th. Not this next week, but the 9th through whatever the rest of the week is. I'm going to be using all my Phoenix and Bows all week. Next week is Stash Soapworks. Uh, what kind of blades do you use with your above the tie, Ken? The only thing I could find was Astra's that worked for me.
Man, you got the H2. <laughs> Man, that thing's crazy aggressive. All right, we'll see you later. SP. Wilkinson Sword Gillette. Huh, I'd try that. I don't know if I, what'd you say? Let's see, Matt, uh, you said the Pulse Silvers. I hadn't used the Pulse Silvers. I don't think, well, no, I have. I think I have. Now, is that the, uh, Ken, is that the saloon type that you use, the Wilkinson Sword Gillette's? The ones that last forever. <laughs> mm. Love the scent of this stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got a pack of them. They last forever. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to try them in this. Might do that this week. Yeah, the old uh, Wilkinson swords I like. Then they made some uh, in that just that black plastic. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Astro Greens, that's what we got. The Zork are great there, Matt. Uh, I've got a couple of them that Alex sent me. I like them. They're like, they're crunchy. They just chomp along. Yeah, I think that's the ones I've tried. Uh, the English ones or the German ones? Which ones are the better ones? Yeah, made in Germany. Okay. So I haven't tried the English ones. Ken? Y'all do y'all like a longer handle or a shorter handle? This longer seems to uh, I like it with the M1, but when I get into the R1, uh, it's a little bit more aggressive for me. But I I like where you can put the uh, um, your pinky on these. It's a great great handle. Shorter handle, Abe. Yeah, usually I like the shorter handle. This is the uh, this is the Atlas, and uh, it's the above the tie with the Wolfman. But um, the whole reason I didn't get a Wolfman handle is because I love this handle right here. That's the different. It's got the Bulldog twirling. 
Uh, you can see the difference in the, the heads too. This above the tie is a lot fatter. Here you can see. Hey Harry. Jasper, are you still using your uh, Old Spice? I forgot I was looking for some of that. <laughs> The days I don't shave, I either put on um, uh, like a short to middle length. Okay. Yeah, I, I like the Edwin Jagger length. I think that's just a a tad bit longer than, uh, than like the Gillette's. I'm not sure though. I don't think so. Maybe. I tell you, you can get some cool handles. Uh, and I rarely use it. I wish... I need to use it uh, more often. I forget about it, but I have a charcoal handle and you can find them on Instagram. Uh, and they make these cool stainless steel handles. Look at it, it's got the cool design on it. Uh, and it goes great with any head. It's a little bit heavier. Oh, that's all right. I hadn't really been uh, real, real active on Instagram there, man. So busy. But you know all about that, don't you? Yeah, they are. Jasper, they're great handles. The Barrister Man Spice. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, I, now I have a Soap Commander's Endurance. Don't use it much. I need to pull that out. All right, here's the, uh, my vintage Old Spice. This stuff's good, too. Love it. Try not to use it too much. Sterling Spice. I hadn't tried that. <laughs> You're right, Lock Butcher. Five, five, six, four. <laughs> that tall Ken.
Yeah, it's uh, it's tough being six eight like myself. I know y'all can't tell on this, but uh, no, I'm I'm five nine. <laughs> Everybody's telling their height in here. <laughs> can't believe that small of a crap. Ken, play soccer? Did you play soccer, Ken? Ah, old soccer kid. Yeah, I know we did. Very often. Hey, Brad. Happy Canada Day. Glad to have you, Brad. Good to see you. There's no Instagram, man. I don't even know how long I've been knowing Brad. <laughs> now golf. comb my brushes out. Yes, it's a great brush. This is made by Jasper. Uh, Jasper, if you don't throw your email up there one more time for everybody to see. This was made by him, Olive Wood. And this is after the M7. He made this himself. Beautiful brush. Hey, Judge Barney. We'll see you later, Jasper. Hope everything goes all right with you this holidays. Happy holidays. Happy 4th. Yeah, we're kind of celebrating uh, the 4th tomorrow. I, I have to work Tuesday, uh, which is the 4th. Yeah, it is a great handle, Tom. This brush right here, magnificent. And for y'all just tuning in, this is the 1305. And this is my Jasper the Cerneco. That's, what, that's who he is on Instagram. Jasper Jenkins on here, or Matt Mosley. Uh, great brush. That's a three-band, uh, three-banded badger. Yeah, railroad doesn't slow down for anything. But my mom gonna come down. We'll eat that night. Thank you, Golden. Putting on Yazoo Rose Patchouli. And I have the uh, the soap for this, too. Yum. Yum. You know, when I first started shaving... Thanks, JC. Uh, when I first first shaved, I didn't really like floral, but now I've come to love it. Reminds me of my grandmother's. Hey, Todd. Yes, railroad. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Alex. Uh, Ken, I think you would enjoy one of his handmade right here in Tennessee. Ooh. Yeah, Tennessee. Tennessee. Great state. The old Predators almost pulled off Stanley Cup. 
uh, some, what is that, the Snowbird, um, uh, some team beat them out this year, I, I, I can't remember the team, anyway, that's, that's history, but, uh, Chatillon Luke's, I'm a big, humongous fan, uh, they're, they're in St. Louis, uh, he's in St. Louis, Pittsburgh, no, not Pittsburgh, St. Louis, uh, Missouri, there it is, great, yes sir, Todd, uh, NS, oh, will you, what part, east, west, or middle, that's the three stars, by the way, if you wanted to know, three stars represent east, west, and middle, the penguins, yeah, the penguins, Look at that. Shorter this? Oh my goodness. I just got a mail call. That almost doesn't count. Hush it. Hush it. I got a mail call just now. Uh can we can we share, Corey? I'll show you first what my wife just surprised me with. We were just talking about mustache cups. Uh that's where I'm at, Ken. Uh in the Memphis area, so uh, you'll definitely have to keep me posted, and we will have a meetup. We'll have a Thanksgiving Ken serves meetup. This is great. So, uh, ah, Thanksgiving in Louisiana. All right, uh, Corey, you mind if I share your box of goodies that you sent me? So my wife just come in here and handed me this package and uh, she got me this look at there yes we do Sam uh, which Corky's isn't my favorite all right cool Cork. Uh this is the Mo Guard. my wife ordered this for me and it if it's on cups any way you put them so let's say it'll fit this cup maybe somehow yep look at that fits any cup Uh, you said my favorite one, Sam. Rendezvous, Memphis. Look at there. That surprised me. Oh, she's a good one, ain't she? It's a cup adapter, yes. This is called the MoGuard. You can get them at the MoGuard.com, and I didn't even know she ordered this. Wow. There's the, uh, the card. Is that cool or what? <laughs> yeah, it is. Comes with a a lanyard. She can carry it everywhere you go. Ha! Yeah, I'll send you a link there, JC. And I'll actually do a review of this thing. That is cool. It's made out of silicone. Oh, I missed what you said there, Todd. Say it again. Said it's been a few years. Let me scroll up, see if I can see it. Ah, oh, Millington. Yeah, I know where that is, Todd. I know exactly where that is. That's so cool. Let me fold oh, this. You know, Sam, that's a great idea. I should get a hold of them. And see if they would do that. All right. So, I don't, I got a knife, hang on. Ah, I got a knife. All right. Yeah, Sun Records, that'll be great. That'd be a great place to meet up. I got a box. Look at that thing. This is exciting. I know one thing that's in here. 
There's a razor that I got from Corey. I hope it's in here. Yeah, I hadn't seen the ducks at the Peabody in a long time. Yes, exactly, Alec. <laughs> ah, good enough. We got all kinds of stuff. Oh, boy. Let me smell it before we... Oof. Oof. Hey, Lewis. Hmm. This is Barristan Man Hallows 2016. Yeah. Thanks, Corey. This is great. Have y'all tried the Hallows? That smells magnificent. Oh, my knife, it's a cheapie. I think it's a ten dollars at Lowe's. I believe I probably wouldn't even that. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Got newspaper. Newspaper. All right. Citrus Royale. Mmm, this is Phoenix and Bo. Mmm. Yeah, he does, Golden. Nick loves that stuff. Citra Royale. Gubeba, lime, and cedarwood. Litzia. Mmm. Ah, that's wonderful. And then, we got this bad boy. I got his back off of, off to him today. Ah, that's a beauty. Anybody know what that is? It's in great shape. That's an old Gillette Senator. Hey, Carrie. Yeah, Citra Royale. <laughs> yeah, I got me some. Corey sent me some. You might remember making it. <laughs> it smells great. I used to have the sample to this. Mmm. And since you missed it, Kerry, uh, my wife got me this Mogard. Is that cool or what? But... This beauty right here is wonderful. Look at that. Y'all be seeing this in this next week. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you, Corey. That is magnificent. I appreciate it, Ken. You have a happy fourth, and uh, let's keep in touch on this uh, Thanksgiving meetup. I do appreciate you stopping in. Hopefully we can see you again next Saturday or maybe, you know, you could do a live one day. I know you're busy. Ah, thanks, Tom. It is wonderful. It's a beauty. It says Made in USA. Registered USA. And they did make these in England, too, also. Uh, no, I do not. Uh, I have not got the whisker dam. My wife got me, if you missed it, this uh, Harry's Mustache Cup for Father's Day. This is great. I appreciate it, Ken. Happy 4th of July. And happy Canada Day. Works great. Yeah, the Mogard. The whisker dam I'll be ordering uh, sometime. Probably uh, next time I have to order from uh, Dubs. This is my Dubs. I got that recently. Where's my, 
brush going. Yeah, built in whisker dam. <laughs> Yes, I am too, Corey. Thank you. It's in, excuse me, it's in beautiful shape. It is wonderful. I really like it. What year did we say this was? Is this a 38? 1938, is that one that made the senator? Old Ken. He's a good one. He has the the best shaved in of anybody. Yeah, and the hallows, man. This stuff is great. I really like that. It is, JC. Sweet milk all. Yeah, I like it. Good earthy, earthy scent. And then, of course, the Citra Royale. Well, Carrie's having a bad time with DE blades. Uh, Persona Platinum's first try, and I think I got a bad batch. 1938. That's when the Senator was made. Well, Carrie, here lately, these have been my favorite. Perma Sharps. There it is. Sam just put it up there. And also, Nassets. Gillette Nassets. Those are great blades, both of them. They're kind of in the middle of the road, uh, both of them, about, you know, sharpness and smoothness. This great stuff. Thank you, Corey. This is magnificent. And I thank my wife for this. This is great. Look at her. Wish my mustache looked like that all the time. Instead, it looks like this. <laughs> Magnificent. Brad says, pole silver and Gillette silver bl silver blades, and silver blades are are smooth, very smooth. Bolzano, Perma Sharp, Persona Platinum Chrome, Yellow Seven O'Clocks, they're great. Um, I like them. Two carry. I think everybody said perma sharp though. Uh, I only have this one pack, and when I run out, I'm definitely getting. I got two left. When I run out, I'll be getting a whole hundred, or however they come. And we're gonna be doing the whole salon thing. By the way, sorry. Real quick. care package today that'll be exciting did you uh blow dry your whiskers carry when you had one i'm gonna be putting on just some balm today i'm not gonna do a this is called my hickok wild bill hickok wore one like this hmm This is the Dubs Balm Bay Rum, or Bay Runner, as he calls it, I think. 
a long-term disorder. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, when I, I got to go to the store. We're having a, a fish fry tomorrow to celebrate the 4th. Somebody gave me some uh, white catfish. They're kind of like blue catfish. So that will, that's what we're doing. Aces and eights. That's right. Ace of spades, ace of clubs, eight of clubs, eight of spades. Wasn't that it? You must have one of them perfect stashes there, <laughs> okay? Mine, I have to wrestle and fight. When I play around with the kids all day around the house, this is the way I usually wear it. Because I got that little baby girl and when I hold her and I have my handlebar out, I'll poke her and stuff. So I try to, <laughs> I try to just keep it down out of the way on days that I'm off. I might fix it tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's a big myrtle, mural in your city. Wow, Bill. It's pretty cool to read up on, uh, that's right, Dead Man's Hand. It's pretty cool to read up on him because of all the stuff that's wrote that he done. You know, a lot of it's probably fabricated and stuff, but it's still pretty cool. He had, who wore a mustache it's just straight down. Uh, his probably, you know, his was a little bit longer and looked better than mine. <laughs> Twist it and give a sinister laugh. I know, rubber end cap is what I need. <laughs> well, that's a lot of work every day. Uh, did you wash the wax out every day? Carry because I, I I have to if I don't my skin gets to itching really bad and I'll probably wax it tomorrow since the family's coming over well I will ah honorary member you know I I could get in the British handlebar club I just had to send them a picture and everything. I believe they haven't contacted me yet of course uh, but that's I'm any day I figure they'll contact me and ask me if I want to join be like a wild animal yeah I know how that is This balm has just a little bit of wax in it to hold the hair down. But you would not believe how much work a mustache is until you grow one. A beard, you know, is so much easier because if I had a beard, I could just hide it in there. But if you don't have a beard or anything else like this, and it gets this long or even longer which you know this is i think day 143 or 44 um that uh it's uh it's a hassle i mean you have to do something with it every day yeah i, I heard about that uh sam i don't know if that's true though i thought it might be fake but uh kurt russell who played white earp in tombstone i also read that he named his son white but i don't know uh, if that's true or not. Yeah, JC has a nice stash too. Wondering how long he's going to let it grow. Yes, uh, uh, that's a good question, Carrie. How did you remove your wax? I use sweet almond oil. It's just the uh, same thing as you put in your ear to remove wax. This is just sweet oil. And I'll put that in there and then I'll wash it. Uh, I use different stuff to wash it, but um, I have a system. 
25th of December. There you go. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Man, I would love to go there. I also use shampoo. Yeah. I know uh, some people use, you know, dish soap, uh, anything and everything to, to get it out. Or just regular shampoo. The sweet oil will actually just break up the wax. And then just a couple of seconds, well, about a minute's time, I run a comb through it and it and it actually just comes straight out. No problem. It, uh, that sweet oil actually liquefies the, the wax. Um, now, I do have... Uh, uh, yes, Dolly had a great mustache. Uh, I do have, let's see, a AJ's Elixir mustache wax has uh, rosin in it, pine rosin. And uh, that stuff's hard to get out. Plus a Canadian redneck, you know, pretty hard to get out too. I've got to work, work it out with the sweet oil and then shampoo it out. But the uh, dubs, uh, that comes out pretty easy. Very easy. What was your uh, wax of choice, Carrie? What's your wax of choice, JC, or, or do you wax? Ah, the, the walrus stash, it's a, it's a true stash. I wish mine grew more in the middle. It's slow. This stuff just gets crazy. Grows like out of, out of, like a wild man. Yeah, usually I put a little dubs in it and it comes straight out and curls. Um, some German wax, there you go. I saw what Golden Steel said, but I didn't want to say it on here. <laughs> I want to keep that. I'll let everybody read it. <laughs> Might get some hate mail if I... It's pretty cool to look up the history of stashes. Uh, I think they're coming back. I think they are. Well, around here. All right, Todd. It's great seeing you. I'm fixing to have to run, too. Um, I was going to give Carrie time to answer answer the question of which wax he used. <laughs> Did you see what Alex said, Carrie? <laughs> this is your chance to introduce up the up-and-coming Phoenix and Bow mustache wax. Ah, well, there you go, Gary. Uh, you should send me, you should send me a prototype, and I'll let you know if it's good enough to uh, to sell out. Yeah, PMB mustache, PMB stash wax. You can put the sense of uh, Spitfire, man. <laughs> yes, yeah, very refined. You're right, Gary. Yeah, Magnum did have a cool. Kurt Russell and Goldie Hahn tried to steal my son away from Oliver Stone. He had a personal coach and trainer to this kid. I come and called him a babysitter. I and my son is now a movie director. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. That'd be great, Kerry. That'd, that'd be honored. Be honored to try it. That's pretty cool, Judge Kerry. Judge Barney, I mean. Wow. I right, we'll, we'll holler at you later, Tony. Tom Selleck is legendary. My favorite, one of my favorite stashes, though, throughout all the movies is uh, Sam Elliott. Uh, he had one of the best stashes. That is, that's pretty cool, Judge Barney. We'll have to learn more about that.
special mustache wax. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, Steve. That'd be amazing. That's what a lot of people call me at work, Ron. Ron Jeremy. <laughs> That's... Yeah, I laugh. I laugh. But... Yes, he is. Sam Elliott is probably the best writer. Uh, he's got a new movie out, and he has a show that's pretty funny. Yeah, particularly in the big uh, Lebowski, Sam Elliott uh, did have a great stash. The best mo. Uh, forgot what I was saying. Hey, how you doing? Hi, uh, thank you. We just, uh, we just about to, to finish up. I hear my wife in there banging on the door. She's, she's saying, time's up. Come, come get the kids. <laughs> thank you, Corey. You'll see this, uh, uh, in the upcoming week. 1938, Gillette Senator. Yes, John Holmes did have a mustache. <laughs> yes, he did. Magnificent. And the Citra Royale. I was going to do a stash soap works all this next week. I'll use all my stash work soap works, including Liam Cruz. And then the next week, I'm going to be using all of Phoenix and Bow. Uh, I think this would be one, two, three, four. Four of them, I believe, that I have. So, uh... Excited. Very excited. All right. Thanks for stopping in, Carrie. I appreciate everybody for stopping in. Uh, Steve, when do you do um, your next live shaver? Are you going to do one tomorrow? The, the Suffolk Shaver does a live shave on Sundays. Hey, Gray Dog. I appreciate it, Carrie. We'll be talking soon. Uh, but I'll see if Steve answers before we sign off. Yeah, you need to. Phoenix and Bow is is the bomb. It's a tallow that's more like it, it feels and smells more like a, a, a non-tallow, a vegan. All right, everybody. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a wonderful 4th. Have a great Canada Day. And uh, I'll be seeing y'all. Uh, and Steve's not going to do one. The Suffolk Shaver is not going to do a live shave tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the next week. I'll be out next Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be going to a mustache and beard competition in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, so uh, I'll see who's going to see if I can get somebody to to fill in for me next Saturday. But y'all have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. Titty, Manny, JC, Alex, Lock Butcher, uh, Judge Barney. I know I'm missing a lot of people. We had a great show today. That was magnificent. Uh, and thank you, Corey, again for this great stuff. And my wife for the mow guard. Y'all have a great day. I'm Cap. I'm out. <laughs> Happy 4th of July, everybody. <laughs>